after all this has happened, and you've been in the hospital 14 months, and now over 20 years of, of, of surgeries and 45 years of pain, there's got to be some anger someplace through this. Have you been angry, resentful over this whole experience? Yes, I went through all of that. Yes. I had been um, so much anger, hatred, bitterness. Even I hated myself oh. when I saw my scar, when oh, I growing up with ugly scar and so much pain. Yes. And I just asked, why me? Why that happened to me? I didn't do anything wrong. No, you didn't. And uh, why I have to do that? I um, think at our viewers, there, there are very few of our viewers who haven't been through something traumatic, who haven't asked the same question. That's right. Why me? <laughs> why, why me? me? And so I, uh, but uh, right now, I understand why me. So I, I, I want to talk about that, why me now, but, but before we get there, how did you come to that point where you came to a place where you said, I, I can put this behind me? I, I know you've done a work of forgiveness in your heart. Yes. <laughs> and so what, I've got about 60 seconds to my next break. What, what's, can you give me kind of a, a, a bird's eye view of something that happened to make this uh, change for you? Right. This is an amazing turning point when I read the Bible and Jesus say, love your enemies. Oh my. <laughs> it's so hard for me. Uh, it seemed to me impossible. Yes. But I became Christian in uh, Christmas Eve, 1982. 1982. After I uh, became, you know, I have faith in Jesus and, and I have connection. I just trust and obey. I open the Word of God. I pray. And then I say, how can I do that? Oh. Please. And I just ask God, help me. Yes. And from that, I work on. And so I just trust and obey. And um, I, I, I work on my forgiveness lesson. It yes. is really hard. Mm -hmm. 